The hijacking of the Italian cruise ship Achille Lauro reaches a dramatic climax on this day in 1985 when US Navy F-14 jet fighters intercept an Egyptian airliner attempting to fly the Palestinian hijackers to freedom. They force the Italian jet to land at a NATO base in Singonella, Sicily. American and Italian troops surrounded the plane and the terrorists were taken into Italian custody. On this day in 1973, US Vice President Spiro Agnew resigns. He becomes the first US Vice President to resign in distress. On the same day, he pleaded in no contest to the charge of federal income tax invasion in exchange for the dropping of charges of political corruption. And of course, less than a year later, US President Richard M. Nixon would also resign, this time as President. On this day in 1845, the United States Naval Academy opens in Annapolis, Maryland, with 50 midshipmen students and 7 professors. Actually, it was known as a naval school until 1850. It was only then that it became the U.S. Naval Academy. On this day in 1877, the U.S. Army holds a full military funeral at West Point Academy for Lieutenant Colonel George Armstrong Custer, who was killed the previous year at the Battle of Little Bighorn. Custer graduated from West Point in 1861, where he finished bottom of his class. Actor for Christopher Reeve, who became famous for his starring role in four Superman films, dies from heart failure at the age of 52 on this day in 2004. He was paralyzed in 1995 as a result of a horse riding accident. On this day in 1975, actress Elizabeth Taylor remarries actor Richard Burton in Botswana. Former Ugandan Prime Minister Milton Obote dies in South African Hospital at the age of 81 on this day in 2005. And finally, on this day in 1989, South African President F.W. de Klerk announces the unconditional release of eight long-serving political prisoners. They were former ANC Secretary General Walter Sisulu, Andrew Malangani, Raymond Mishlaba, Elias Mozzaledi, Wilton McWhite, Ahmed Kathadra, Jeff Masamela, and Oscar Mpeta. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe to our channel and tune in tomorrow for another This Day in History.